She's a homemaker, don't you know? She'll teach you how to cook and sew, and how to wield a hammer. It's the June the Homemaker Show. Hello, and welcome to the June the Homemaker Show. Today on June the Homemaker, I am going to show you how to fix a common problem that people run into with clothing. Have you ever had this happen where you pull your pants out of the washer or the dryer and it's like, oh no, I guess the hem ripped out. And then you think, oh, this sucks. And then you wear it with the hem partially pulled out. And then you step on it with your heel and then you put a heel through your pants. And then you're just really upset for the rest of your natural life. Well, you don't have to do that because there is a way to fix this without having to go back and actually hem it. It is a trick that Mom the Homemaker taught me. So the first thing we're going to do is pull this pant leg inside out because you want to be able to get at the seam in a way that is helpful and not in a way that is from the outside of the pants. Here's my pant leg and the hem is pulled out from here to here. So where my, where my fingers are. It's like four or five inches of hem that is pulled out. We are going to use a magical product, which Mom the Homemaker refers to as Perky Bond. Now, we're not sure that Perky Bond actually exists anymore, but we think that they're, I mean, as a brand, the Perky Bond, like this sort of stuff exists. We just don't think it's called Perky Bond, or maybe it is like Perky Bond, but then it's called something else. Maybe it's new and improved. It's this long roll of stuff. She keeps a pin in it, so I'm going to unpin it and undoubtedly stab myself with it later because, hey, I'm June the Homemaker. And it comes off the roll in these thin, sort of spider webby type strips. Can you see them from over there? See, look at this. It's like a spider web material. This is basically like a ribbon of glue film. So just lay it across, measure enough so that it will take care of the area that you're hoping to take care of. Then you have to put it on the inside between the layers of fabric that you want to stick together. And when you insert it in here, you want to make sure that all of the perky bond is covered by some sort of fabric. You don't want any of it to be sticking out. See how it's all hidden? How you can't see any of it? But if you peek, oh look, oh look, there's perky bond in there. My iron is on high heat. Then you take a wet rag, we just have a cleaning rag, a double layer of it, um, lay it down over the area, make sure to tangle up your wire, because that's really important, and then Hear the sizzle? Hear it? You get to make it sizzle. So basically you lay the iron on a wet part of your rag. And maybe you press it kind of in different places. It's the steam coming off the rag that interacts with the perky bond with the heat to make it actually glue. So you kind of hold it on there for a little while, like that, and then Maybe you do it with another area of the cloth, which is still wet. And you never hold it on there for terribly long, because you're not out to burn the fabric or anything. Um, but you do want to make sure that the glue is all glued. And then maybe you take a single layer of the fabric and do a little bit like that. And then... This is glued together. Ta-da! So this is basically, Perky Bond is basically like fabric glue that you can apply with the use of some water and a rag and a really hot iron. You probably shouldn't use on like gentler fabrics. Um, any fabric that can't sustain being steamed by an iron is not eligible for use with Perky Bond. Um, also, if you, you have to be really careful if you're doing something like a dress, like I had a dress where the outside layer of the dress was heavy enough for us to use the perky bunch, but then it had like a lining, which was a man-made fabric, so we had to be really careful about not touching the lining with the iron and stuff like that. But you know, for pants particularly, like I'm, I've used perky bunch because I'm not a tall person, so 
If I get like cotton pants or khakis that are just a little bit too long, you can pull out the hems at the bottom and just hem the bottom with perky bond rather than like going through and doing everything with a sewing machine. Granted, this is the ultimate lazy way to do it, but like particularly if it's not an entire hem that is just pulled out, if it's like just part of the hem that's pulled out, then this can be really helpful. So there's your June the Homemaker trick of the day. It's like super quick and easy. You just cut off a piece and put it in there and iron it down and then it won't ever pull out again. Isn't that exciting? I think that's really exciting. I feel like I've just shown you something that's actually useful, which is not something that always happens on the June the Homemaker show. So congratulations. This is June the Homemaker. I have some more ironing to do, so I'm gonna peace out. And I am signing off.